HTTV with Illingworth and Gregory here with Tony Cars. Tony, thank you for joining us ahead of the FA Youth Cup game at home to FC Wimbledon on Saturday. Uh, give an impression to, to fans that might not follow the under-18s religiously of just what the FA Youth Cup means to, to the staff and the players because at first team level it's always the league that's the, yeah. the priority. It's a little bit different uh, at youth team level, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, obviously the league programme, it's it's competitive. You know, we want to do as well as we possibly can, but the focus is always on developing, um, watching the players develop, giving them different tasks in different games. And obviously we've got a clear identity now at first team level right through the club. And it's it's working on that during the week and looking to implement it and see it on a Saturday. Now the Youth Cup, something slightly different. Obviously everybody, every, every team will put out the strongest possible team. You know, we've had lads in the 23s, a lot who've done well. They obviously come into the mix for the uh, for the Youth Cup. It's a prestigious competition. I think a lot of lads who have careers in football, if, they, if they've been scholars anywhere, you know, they look back with fond memories on the Youth Cup, and you know, some some have been very successful. And uh, you know, like I say, it's an important time for them. You know, this is them coming together in the competition that really, really matters. So, for us as coaches, it's it's how do they perform under that sort of pressure, that different mindset, and and obviously a big challenge. You talked about lads there, and, and I've heard it from players who've had 500, 600 games in the professional career, but they still remember their Youth Cup experiences really fondly. Are, are you the same, Tony? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was at uh, the enemy, Bradford City, as a, as a YTS, and we got to the semi-final of the Youth Cup, I think, you know, the first time Bradford had done it in years, knocking out Man United, West Ham, Blackburn, teams like that on the way through, and I think got beat off Arsenal 1-0, forming away in the semi-final, you know, but fantastic achievement at the time and great memories, you know, and... Um, a lot of experience from that as well, you know, that you can use, you know, hopefully if you're going to have careers in FA Cups and stuff like that, must win games, uh, it's really important. You rightly say that the result is often king in Youth Cup games, but it must do wonders for the development to actually experience a situation where there is pressure on the result and there are fans in the in the stadium, in a proper stadium, at the John Smith Stadium this weekend. That must play a big part in seeing who can handle it and who needs to learn to handle it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's like I said, like I said, you know, as coaches, that's what you're looking for. It's, it's a big game, it's a big moment, it's a lot of hard work coming together hopefully on the day uh, and the last couple of seasons had really difficult ties obviously against Chelsea where you're, you know, you're a massive underdog and playing against some of the best young talent in Europe which has been a challenge and hopefully we've learned a lot from that um, but it's, you know, it's another big challenge this weekend against a good side from Wimbledon who are, who are particularly strong um, you know, and good at what they do so it'll be a test and like you say, see how the lads perform in that environment. How are preparations for this weekend? Because you've got, although we've got a lot of experience as a staff uh, from previous games against Chelsea, you've got a relatively inexperienced Youth Cup team that a lot of the lads have never played in this environment before. So how, how are they prepared? How ready are they looking? Yeah, no, they're looking good. You know, um, I think it's been good that we've organised the group. So we've had the group together for 10 days. Um, and, you know, we put a uh, strong side out against Birmingham last Saturday who had their equivalent, their Youth Cup side out, which was a, which was a good game, a tough game, a good test and an opportunity for some of the lads to play together, um, which you know some of them haven't played together, and certainly in partnerships, if you look at two in midfield, it's a, it's a different two, and you know all over the pitch there's different partnerships which are, are important, you know, so to get that game together last week was important, and uh, that's helped build on, we built on that this week in training and preparation going well. AFC Wimbledon is a new opponent for Huddersfield Town at, at any level since the reincarnation of the club. What are you expecting from Town's opposition this weekend? Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Obviously, we've we've looked at a couple of their previous games. They beat Bristol Rovers three 0 in the previous round, where they, you know, they dominated, offer a big attacking threat. Uh, they beat Peterborough at the weekend five 0 as well. So they're on the they're in sort of decent form themselves. We know, you know, they're going to be uh, a threat certainly going forward, counter attack and stuff like that. And again, it's a great, it's a great test for us. Um, and you know, the key is making sure that we impose our game and our identity, if you like, on them in the game at the stadium, which is you know where it really matters. Talking about being at the stadium as well, there's no first team game on Saturday, obviously they're at Norwich on Friday night, so how great would it be to have some of the Huddersfield Town fans in the John Smith Stadium this weekend cheering the boys on? Yeah, no, that, I mean that would be great, we get good support on a Saturday, but the Youth Cup, like I say, is a bit special, it is a bit different, it's at the stadium, and again, you know, players dealing with that sort of environment where there's a crowd, I think a couple of years ago when we played Man United at the stadium, you know, it was a fantastic crowd, uh, and it does make a big difference, you know, the lads are aware of it, they can feel it, which is something they're not used to. Um, but hopefully they can thrive in it and again if you know as many can get down as possible that that'd be great and uh, see how we get on we've spoken to three of the lads for HGTV on Friday and you can sense their excitement but how excited are you and the staff about this because it's, it's a big game for you guys as well isn't it yeah it is no it's it's you know it's exciting it's what everyone you know the staff the players will look out for the draw you know when it's coming up and again like I said the two previous years have been away from me and been difficult so it's just it's great to have a, a game at the stadium again for the players and you know for us, us as staff and uh, you know, we're looking forward to the game, we've prepared well for it and uh, you know, the lads will be ready come Saturday. 
Good luck, Tony. Best of luck on Saturday. Thanks a lot, Dave.